Hey, how's it going everyone? Brad Smith here with Automation Links. Today I want to go over how to optimize your videos for SEO using YouTube. Now YouTube, Google, they're the same thing. I'm getting tons of my videos ranked on Google for the keywords and for things that I want. So if you do it right, you're not only going to get searches from your map, your listing, your search console, but also from your videos. Uh, I know a lot of times when I'm looking to learn something, I'm not, I don't necessarily go to YouTube to search for it first. I go to Google to search for it and then I see videos that are going to be helpful. So as you can see, I have a ton of videos here on the first page. They'll also show up on the searches and even in your business listing. So if you do it right, it's definitely going to help you in your business. So what I'm going to do today is actually upload my video and teach you how to use the title, description, tags, category, thumbnail, closed captions, and even playlist. Now I know that's a lot, um, but just stick with me and then use this video as a reference uh, for when you want to go upload your own video. Just follow step by step. So first, log into YouTube, right? It's always going to be with your Gmail account. Log in, make sure you have the right profile, make sure you go to the right place. And then you're going to click on this button here, create a video or post. So I'm going to click that and upload video. Now, before you upload your video, it's always important to remember to save your video on your computer as the same name as you're going to upload it. If you upload a video with a bunch of numbers and codes, Google's not going to recognize that, that those keywords. So you can actually save that video to your computer. And I'm going to show you that right now. I'm going to upload this one right here. This is going to be my sample. I'm going to rename it and let's do how to upload YouTube videos. So you want to make sure this is going to be the same title as your video. So let's bring that back. All right, perfect. So I'm going to click this to upload and you're going to see that video, that title I just put in and it's going to say how to upload YouTube videos. Make sure that file name is saved. Now, if you're doing this from your phone, you're not going to be able to save that file name. So make sure you send it to your computer, save that file name <clears throat> exactly how you want to do it. So the title is actually going to be what people will be searching for in Google. So if I go back to Google here and I click on videos, you, that title is going to show up for exactly what this title is. So if I want to say get started automation links quick start page, if anyone types in those keywords, that video should pop up. And that's what you want. If somebody's searching for your keywords for what you offer, your services, uh, the business that you have, you want to show up right here. So for this video right here, I'm going to say how to upload YouTube videos. So if anyone types in how to upload YouTube videos into Google, eventually we'll want my video showing up there. I'm the authority. I'm the business owner helping them. So if you look at these, how to upload video on YouTube properly, how to properly upload videos, what they're doing is they're putting it in different orders depending on how people search for it. So for me, I would naturally search for how to upload YouTube videos you may search for how to properly upload videos. So what you want to do is show up for those keywords there. Next is you want to put in your business name or some other result that somebody might be searching for. So he put YouTube in here twice. YouTube in here, YouTube. So what they're doing is they're putting YouTube 2019. Um, they're going to do the right way of different things like that. So those are going to be the exact words. Now, if I want my videos to show up for automation links too, which I do because what I want is when somebody search automation links in the in Google, I want to be the business that not only has a good website, but also has the videos teaching and it building up my brand. So now when somebody's doing automation links, they see that I'm out there helping them. So another good thing you could do is your business in there. A third thing you could do is your location if you have a physical location or your personal name if you're trying to build up the brand. So if I knew people were going to be going to automate or Google searching for Brad Smith, I may want to put Brad Smith in here because Brad Smith is the authority. Gary Vaynerchuk is the one of the top personal brands out there. So what you can see is he has his name in all of these Google searches. So anytime somebody types in Gary Vaynerchuk, he's going to show up there. So you could do the business name if you're trying to grow that or your personal name if you're trying to grow your brand. All right, number two is the description. They only show you the first three lines on that description, but you also want to have that call to action right at the beginning. So somebody actually has to click show more to get to that. So what I like to do is I like to take this. Um, this is my default link where I want everyone to go. And I like to 
give them a quick explanation. In this video, owner of automation links. So here I'm putting my business name in, Brad Smith. So now if they type in automation links or Brad Smith, Google may pick up these keywords also. We'll show you how. And then here we go. I want to take this title and use the title in the description also. How to upload YouTube videos. And then I can say, click here to learn more. And that's where I put my call to action right away. So this is this will be the first three lines that Google or YouTube shows people. So what I'm doing is I'm getting my business name in again, because this is what I know people will be searching for. And then I want to be the business helping them through video. And then I need to get my title in there again, how to upload videos. So what I'm doing is teaching you how to upload YouTube videos, which I'm getting right here. And then I want to do a quick call to action before I get into a bunch of other descriptions. So click here to learn more if you're interested, right? So what you can do after that is you can start providing more value. So what I like to do is um, these are the top three things we spoke about. Or I am showing in this video. So what you can do is you can give out like a little bullet point list. So first I'm teaching you how to do the title. Next I'm teaching you how to do the description. And then last, I'll teach you how to do the thumbnail, right? So, and then I can do another call to action. If you like this, please go to our website. So you can keep it simple like that, right? All right, so that is the title. That's the description. Make sure you leave a comment on this video if you need any help with any of this. Um, you can add more here. That's totally fine. Uh, there's some reports out there saying if you have too many links, you may get penalized. Uh, but I don't really see that too much. It's more about getting that title of exactly what somebody's going to search for in Google. That's the most important. Is somebody going to type in how to upload YouTube videos in that Google search result? And then getting the call to action, giving them some info, and most importantly, getting them back to your website. All right, next we want to go over some keywords. So I have these three set as default. If somebody's searching automation links, my name, or website help, they're going to do this. This has nothing to do with the website, so I'm going to get rid of it. So what I am going to do is take this exact title, put it as a tag. Now I'm waving at Google. Hey, guess what? This is what I want to show up for when somebody exactly searches for this word, these words put together. How to upload YouTube videos. I want to be the authority helping them. Uh, so for you, um, how to exercise at home the proper way. Somebody might search that, and if you're the number one person, it's going to help. Now, if you're only typing in website, or let's just say I'm only typing in YouTube, I will never show up. It takes years and years and years to show up for that. So these long keywords like this, you can show up for. So if you want to do local fitness training tips Seattle, you might show up for that. Who shows up for that now? Let's find out. You can go back and do a Google search and see if anyone shows up for that. If you're in Seattle and you're looking for training tips, you will show up. So as you can see, nobody is ranking for this keyword, this exact keyword. So as soon as you upload a video, you will actually show up for this search because nobody else has this exact search here. So make sure you find some searches that nobody else has. Local fitness training tip Seattle. Nobody else will rank for that because you'll go instantly to the top if somebody searches that exact word. All right, guys, hopefully this is helping. Um, make sure you let me know or if you have questions on this. All right, next thing is the tags we went over. Um, categories, those are usually pretty default. Um, I don't mess with the categories too much just because um, I only have one category, I'm a brand helping people. Um, so I don't need to go change that for every video. If you wanna do, if you're able to find other categories uh, for your business, feel free to use them, but that's not as important as thumbnails. So let's get into thumbnails. This is actually one of the hardest things for me to figure out was how to do these thumbnails. So what I want to show you guys is a software that I found. I put it in my big bookmark so I can always find it. And it's called PickMaker.com. And in the PickMaker, you can make YouTube thumbnails. Um, so two things with the thumbnails which I found. Show the person what the video is going to look like. So what is in that video when they click on it. If you put some fake image there, I would say something like this, like a podcast image that has nothing to do with it and they click on the video and it's something completely different, that's gonna throw them off guard, they'll probably leave. But if you can throw your picture of yourself talking or whatever the video is about in there, 
then you can add a title over top. So as you can see, I made quite a bit here. You can put the image in, throw a big title on there, picmaker.com, super easy. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm referencing, referencing this website for you. You're gonna be able to easily find that in my YouTube video. So recommended thumbnail software. And I'm gonna actually give you that link right in my description. So as you're watching this video, you don't have to go find that, that link. You can just click on it right from my description because that's my goal, help you out as much as possible. Same thing for your site. So all you have to do is upload the custom thumbnail here and you are good to go. Now you're gonna show up really nicely in these Google searches. Um, as an example, these searches I did right here, they don't have very big titles. So I'm not exactly sure what that video is about yet. But if you can get something like this, how to start, how to start, look how they match. That makes you wanna click it and watch the rest. Uh, the advice successful people won't give you. He has that exactly in his title. So that's the ex same thing you guys want to do. Make sure you have the title in your image, in your thumbnail, so they know what to expect. Website services, website services. Social sales page, social sales page. Uh, this one's probably a little messed up. Website sales funnel, quick tips, has nothing to do with it. Um, so you, you most likely probably wouldn't even click on that. So remember that for the thumbnails, title, image of what they can expect, and then you go from there. All right, so this is really cool about YouTube is they actually give you the files, the thumbnails already for you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save this as a draft or unlisted here. I'm gonna hit done. And so what this video will do is it'll actually translate it for me into, thumb, into closed captions. Now when somebody's watching a video, I'm noticing a trend on this. A lot of times people are not turning the volume up. They're just reading the closed captions as the video's playing. Maybe they're at work. Uh, maybe they're doing something else and they don't want the volume on. So just remember to make sure to do those thumbnails. So once you get to your video, you're going to go to edit video. And once that pops up, you'll be able to edit those closed captions. I recommend doing that because it's not 100% accurate. I would say it's about 60% accurate. So go in there and fix those and get those uh, closed captions in there. Now what this is showing is the new editor, um, which I personally don't like. So I like to go back to the classic studio editor. When you get to closed captions, it's gonna take you back here anyways. So click create, create your studio classic and skip. For some reason, they send you to the new update and then they're now gonna take you back to the old update here. And you're gonna see the closed captions subtitles. Sometimes they'll upload automatically. Like you can see they upload it. Sometimes they take a couple hours. So just come in here, you'll see them and click on them. And as you can see, I have my thumbnails here. I'm gonna edit. And this only took a couple sec, a couple minutes for it to come in. And you can see that they don't capitalize the first letters and it's not perfect. So just scroll through there, uh, make sure everything looks correct so it doesn't throw people off guard while they're watching your video. And remember, a lot of people don't like to turn their volume up, so make sure you have those in there. All right, last but not least, I wanna go over your playlist which I think are pretty important for me because we have different services and different things we offer. So we wanna make sure it's easy for people to go through our playlist. So we have a couple different playlists here. I have website tutorials. Everyone that wants to see a website tutorial, um, they can click on my playlist and they'll see all my tutorials about websites. We also do marketing frameworks where you, you follow our frameworks, we'll teach you how to do things. So I would probably put this in a framework, Automation Links Framework teaching you how to use YouTube to grow your business. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it if you subscribe, uh, follow our channel, and just become part of our Facebook group. And remember, if you're under 10,000 a month, send me a message that says relationship. I will send you something, the exact framework that I use to get over 10,000. If you're over 10,000, just message me that says start and just get started. Hire us to take over everything so you can continue to grow your business. All right, guys, thanks again for watching, and I will talk to you soon.